Hey, what's going on, Scorpios? Butch Taro here. I am going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. I'm going to be using the runic tarot. And with all that being said, let's get it. Iris, what's going on for Scorpios? What message do we have for Scorpios? All right, Scorpios. So the first thing that I see, Scorpios, I feel like there is someone. Now, this could be someone that you're already dealing with or someone you already know. Um, or it could be someone that you just meet. I just get a sense there's a strong connection between the two of you. So it's I'm trying to pick up whether or not it is someone that you already know. If it's a, if it's a connection that's been building or it's a connection that just kind of happen really quickly um because the first thing i see is i feel like i mean we have this person that you know this person around you is all in you know and i feel like they think about you and only you you know i mean i feel like they found what they've been looking for you know that ship has come in for them and you know and they've been waiting in that harbor their whole life and that ship's finally coming in and it's not something they're going to give up easily. You know, this person, I feel like there's a lot of chasing going on. I feel like this this person is trying to con convince you to give them a shot. Or convince you that uh, they're not what you think they may be. You know, and I... They kind of feel like you have your walls up. But that hasn't that's not stopping them. You know, they know exactly what they want. They're going after it. You know, they're not giving up on this. They're not giving up on you. And if that means being your friend and earning your trust, that's exactly what this person will do. You know, we have that three of cups, that that friendship. Um, you know, in that night of pentacles, it's all about gaining, you know, establishing trust. And, and, and that can come in any way, shape or form. You know, slow and steady. Always showing up, always putting in the work. Um, always reassuring. You know, if you have insecurities, they're always there to, you know, to, to show you that they're there. You know, they're trying to change your opinion of them or relationships in general with that hangman. You know, I feel like, like I said, I mean, I feel like they've been, they've been waiting for this. And now that they have it, they're not going to let it go, especially without a fight. Um, they don't want to live in that regret. You know, they don't want to give up on something this special you know it's actually the opposite i mean they're going to protect it with that emperor that that protective energy you know they 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 have these feelings for you that they weren't they weren't expecting i mean it, you brought out some feelings and then they, they weren't expecting to have and now they have them they're not going to let go of that without a without a big ass fight you know, and, and like I said, I mean, they're going to give you that time that you need, but they're always going to keep showing up. They're always going to be there. They're always going to, you know, reassure you that they're going to be there the next day. They're not giving up on this. There's too much on the line. Like I said, they're all in. Um, they feel this strong connection to you, and, and this connection grows deeper and deeper. And like I said before, I mean, they're trying to prove to you 
that they're not like anyone you've ever met before with that six of cups in reverse. You know, this is real for the both of you. Uh, they're genuine. They're authentic. You know, they're, they're, there's no hidden agenda here. They're just here to nurture and show up. And they will continue to do that as long as it takes. Like I said, they're not giving up on you. They're not giving up on this. You know, with that star card, that nurturing energy, that eight of pentacles, putting in the work, showing up. You know, when you have something in front of you that is something you've been waiting for as long as they have. It's not something that you're going to just walk away from. You know, and, I, and like I said, I, I mean, I feel like this person authentically wants... They want to have a future with you. You know, that you know, building that foundation is what they want to do. And if that foundation is built on trust, that's what they're going to start. You know, they're going to build that trust with you. I mean, we have the, the Queen of Swords as well. Um, the Queen of Swords is a very blunt energy. You know, it's very to the point, no bullshit. Um, don't have time to screw around. Don't have time to you know, manipulate, you know, it, it's, it's very on board. It's very above board, I guess I should say, you know, no hidden agendas, no bullshit, just straight up. This is what I want. And that what I want is never going to change. You know, it, it's not like I want, you know, and sometimes we get these players that come along and they act like they're, you know, they offer you the world, but in all honesty, they're really not offering you anything. Uh, they're just trying to get you to lower your guard so they can get in, get what they want, and get out. That's not this person. And you'll see that with the consistency. You know, very emotionally stable, very emotionally mature. You know, they know what they want and they're not, uh, they're not being foolish about it. Like I said, they're not going to push it on you. They're just going to keep showing up, keep being honest, keep being direct. And I wouldn't be surprised if they keep making you offers. They keep wanting to take you out. They keep wanting to, you know, do things with you. You know, they just want to spend time with you. You make them happy. They want to return the favor. You know, they've been waiting for you. I mean, like I said, I mean, they've been manifesting this connection with that magician. You know, and, and they're they're looking for something serious. Like I said, building that foundation... We have that family card with the Ten of Cups. You unlock something in them that they weren't expecting to be unlocked. You know, they've been waiting for something they never thought they were going to get. And now that it's here, um, they just want to keep communicating that to you. You know, they don't, they want to prove that they're here to stay. And that this bond that they share with you is something that they want to continue to develop. They want to see it through. You know, they're going to keep communicating with you with that Eight of, the eight of Wands. And that two of cups is that lifelong bond. You know, I feel like this connection that you have with this person is very deep. Like I said, with that lover's card, I mean, it is, it is a deep connection. And sometimes you got to fight for what you want and they're going to fight for it because they want you. You know, they're protecting what they see. They're protecting what they feel. And what they feel and what they see it revolves around you. You know, we got that nine of cups, that emotional fulfillment, filling up the cups. You know, this person is going to take every opportunity to do, like I said, I mean, if they if they have to be your friend first, they'll be your friend first. If they have to earn your trust, they're going to earn your trust. They're going to keep being honest, to keep being themselves, keep being, you know, that person that you can rely on, that person that you can count on. You know, they're here to prove a point. And the point is, how they feel about you is real. And they're not giving up on that. I mean, they see the potential here. And they just want to move forward with you. That chariot, that cancer energy. You know, they don't want to have that regret of not giving everything they have to the situation. Like I said, with that five of swords, uh, they're all in. And if you let them, they'll show you endless possibilities. You know, and I know the Scorpios that I know, 
they don't trust easy. You know, and you need someone like this that's that's going to be consistent, that's going to be reliable, that's going to be trustworthy, and it's going to show up for you. And like I said, they're very protective over this connection because it's not it's not something that comes around every day, and they know that because they've been waiting their whole life for it. You know, they will defend this. They think about you and only you. I mean, they want to build with you. And they know that if it takes time, it takes time because things that the greatest things in life are things that we we put it all in line for. So, I mean, they're risking it all for you. They're all in. You know, and they're not asking you to do anything that puts you in an uncomfortable situation. I mean, that's the opposite of what they want here. Like I said, they'll take you any way they can get you until you're ready to give them more. And once you're ready to give them more, they're going to accept it, you know. And like I said, they, I mean, I, I we have the Knight of Cups. I do feel like they're going to keep making you offers. I do see them consistently on the point. This is someone that sees you differently. And I feel like it's in a way that you'd want a person to see you. You know, they respect, they, you know, they respect you. It's a very respectful energy. It's, like I said, I, I don't feel any player energy with this person. Even though I, I, sometimes I feel like when we, when we have dealt with one or more players in our life, we start to look at how they act. But, you know, sometimes the players are really, they're really, um, they're really good at saying what you want to hear. So the problem with that, though, is, is if you deal with one or more of these type of people, it starts to be hard to differentiate between the people that are actually telling you the truth or telling you what you want to hear and telling you the truth. It, it's very hard and sometimes it can be very confusing. So it, it can be very hard to let these people in. The difference between a player, crazy thing is the difference between a player and true love is the meaning behind the word. You know, a player will say whatever they can to get in, you know, to get in into your goodies. True love is saying whatever that's coming out of their heart. And all the difference is, is the meaning behind the word. A player doesn't mean anything behind the word. True love does. It means everything. But this person is not just showing you in words, they're showing you in action. And that's the difference. You know, with this person, we have Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Um, we have some Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. You know, it's, it's such a slight difference, you know? Like, there's somebody really really means something it's it's all about what is behind the word you know it's the effort behind the word it's the action behind the word i can say that you're you know the most good looking person i've ever met and you know i've never felt this way before and it can mean nothing but if they truly felt that way there'd be action behind it because words are only words words are easy i can say whatever i want i can say hey you know whatever I want you know it's that's the business of car salesmen <laughs> for instance no offense to car salesmen but you know the, there's certain people out there that know how to say the right things and it's very hard to differentiate between the people that are saying the, the things to, to, to fool you and the people that are saying things because they mean it but the best way to, to figure that out is who's putting the action behind it who's walking the walk And like I said, this person isn't giving up on you. And they won't give up on you. They won't. And they can't. They're drawn to you. And if it takes a million years, a million years is what they'll do. Hopefully it doesn't take that long because I don't feel like our lifespan is even close to that. But <laughs> You know, 
And it, and it is kind of confusing, I know, because I, there's people out there that really put a lot of art into their playerism. You know, they they show up and they show up and show up until they get what they want. But it's all part of the game. And it's hard to spot the difference. It truly is. You know, I I dealt with that before. A long time ago, I used to work on the oil rigs and I made really good money and I met lots of girls that said a lot of good things and always trying to, you know, hook up and hang out and try to get with you. But there's just this feeling I always got with the wrong ones. And I've, you know, it's an intuition that I always trusted in and I feel like everybody should trust their intuition. You know, a lot of people don't trust it because they don't, sometimes it says things they don't want to hear. That's the thing with intuition. It's not going to always tell you what you want to hear, but it's always going to tell you what you need to hear. But, you know, there was this one girl in particular I'm thinking of. Um, you know, she was she was just after a pay, you know, after a payday. You know, she was very interesting. Or very, she seemed very interested in me, but it was, um, there was just something about her and come to find out that's exactly who she was. She was just after someone that could take care of her, which... Godspeed to her. Hopefully someday she'll meet some guy that, that wants a girl like that. Some people want that, I guess. But I want someone that wants to be with me. And the perk, you know, the perks on the side of that, if you want that too, that's okay. But if you don't want me, then don't waste my time. You know, I want to I wanna have someone that wants to be with me. Someone that makes me happy and wants me to make them happy. And we can be happy together. You know, not someone that just makes me happy so I can make them happy. And I know that sounds very similar, but it's not. You know, it, you want someone that's happy, parallel to you, happy with you, happy for you. Not just someone that's making you happy to make themselves so happy. Especially if it's a monetary sense. But I digress. That's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.